Hello everyone, and welcome to another exciting time in our classes. Um, today we're going to be looking at a question. We have this question so that we have a chemical equation. We have a chemical equation here. The chemical equation is the reaction between sodium and the oxygen to give us sodium oxide. Now, the question says using the above chemical equation, calculate the mass of oxygen needed to burn 3.6 grams of sodium. Close it now, the question, based on the question now, a close look at this chemical equation that we have here. We have a chemical equation. A close look at this chemical equation. Close look at the chemical equation. We will be able to see um, it has a lot of information for us here. Some of the information we have here is one, the moles of the react reactants, four mole and all one mole. That is what we can see there. Because now why I'm concentrating there just because what we are there to look at is the relationship between this and that, the mass. A relationship that is existing between the oxygen and the sodium. Now, another thing we can see here is the reacting masses from the chemical equation. The reacting masses of the of this from here we know that four four moles multiplied by twenty three twenty three that will give us um ninety two grams that is ninety two grams of sodium. In this other place, the mass here, um, we have uh, oxygen to be 16 times 2 will give us um, 32. Then 32 times 1 will give us 32 um, grams. That is the reacting mass of oxygen in this, um, from the chemical equation there. Now, Looking at this now, the question says that we should find out the mass of the mass of oxygen required to bond completely, 3.6 grams. So from what we have here, it's obvious that we can solve this problem based on two, we can use two methods in doing that. Is that we consider in moles or we consider using the mass. Remember, in our mass volume relationship, we will be able to you know, get more in the uh, detail, detailed information regarding regarding to this. So now, the first thing we're going to do here is to solve based on. We're going to solve first based on the moles. To solve using the moles, then we we'll consider the first thing we we'll do here is to convert this one to moles. Zero three point six grams of sodium. We we'll convert it to moles. So to do that, what we do here is that, remember we have moles is also mass over molar mass or relative molecular mass, as the case may be molar mass or relative molecular mass will also be the same, that is relative molecular mass. So our mass involved here is what? And then the relative molecular mass there should be so from there, when we divide, we have um, 0 0.1 0 0.157 moles. 0 0.157 moles. So um, now we can then solve the problem using the number of moles. So from the chemical equation, remember I said that using the above equation. From this chemical equation, we are meant to understand that four moles of of sodium combined with what um one mole of oxygen, one mole of oxygen, and now we consider what we're going to get when 
zero point one five seven moles of sodium combined with what um, oxygen. So in that case, now what we are going to do here is one over four times zero point one five seven over one. So what we get here, um, okay, that will be zero point three and um, zero zero point zero three nine one moles of sodium uh, oh, sorry of oxygen of oxygen so this is what we have that's the answer but this is not what the question wants us to get we are looking for the mass so because we are looking for the mass we need to convert this we need to find out what this thing means in mass get the mass equivalent of this so the mass equivalent of it now will then be remember from here all together we can see reverse the equation since we have the moles it means that we can cross over more multiply relative molecular mass more multiply relative molecular mass that means a mass mass of uh, oxygen would then be 0 0.0391 times times um yeah 32 times 32 that will give us 1.232 grams of what oxygen 1.23 grams of oxygen so another method of solving this problem again we can consider it based on you can also look at it based on the um mass you can work directly with the mass and think personally if i'm to solve this problem i'll just base work directly with the mass involved so that the issue of converting back to mass here will be uh, eliminated so now let's look at what we have here if we're to solve it based on the mass and um, here from the equation we have uh, 92 grams and still grams of what sodium required get two grams of oxygen so in that case 92 grams of what sodium then grams of what oxygen that's um then 3.6 grams of sodium to then require require 32 over 9 92 times 3.6 all over 1 so that means we have 1.252 grams so you can see that this one is a bit faster and uh, easier so these are the possible way now remember in our um, mass volume relationship or stoichiometry of chemical reaction you find out that you always tell so from there you'll be able to know um, the relationship it tells us the relationship it, it, it stated that a chemical a balanced chemical equation will give you basic information the modes of the reaction the mass of the reaction and in relation with the products so with this you can looking at the relationship we have here looking at the relationship we have here you can easily you can even calculate you'll be able to find the mass of sodium oxide produced in the same way but now we're going to limit it based on the question given to us in the same way using that and that you can also get what you want all right thank you so much for um staying with us today and I want to encourage you to um, share and subscribe and as well visit our Facebook page which is Study Guide Forum. Thank you.